Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, my name is Gareth, and thank you for joining me for this Let's Play of Starbound. Now, if you haven't been with us from the start, I'm just doing some hardcore Let's Play. I'm trying to do a sort of a playthrough guide to show you everything about the new update of Starbound. Uh, I'm going to begin this. Uh, unfortunately, this is the second run-through of this episode. I just did the entire fucking 11 minutes, and then there was just a black screen. It was just... Ugh. So, anyway, so there's a few things I can exactly show you, but I'm going to try to recreate it as well as I can. First of all, we're going to start off with comments. Uh, thank you to Peacekeepers81. He commented twice today. First one was, man, do whatever you want. It would be fine either way. Can't wait for this somewhat playthrough. He's referring to, I was asking people what we should do with Chiaki Dunbar, if we should bring him into uh, the inevitable death of the first boss, or... Uh, have him pass through that, but still continue on to higher level content. And we're going to do that, because that was the only vote today, so he gets to, gets the say. Uh, second thing he said was, good vid. I do believe if you walk up to the plant and hit E, it will harvest the seeds and beans and leave the plant. So if it just isn't ready, uh, and you want to harvest anything... Yeah, sorry. That was, a, that was the end of the sentence. Can't wait to see more. So thank you so much to Peacekeepers81 for that. And he is absolutely right. You press E on that and you, you get yourself some coffee beans. Now, I can't show you the coffee bean thing again, unfortunately, because I already did the whole quest. So what I just did was went, I went back to the outpost, uh, which I've outlined in previous videos. Then uh, gave the I put the coffee beans in the coffee machine that are right there in the outpost. Made some coffee, gave it back to him, then he said he's going to drink it right out of my matter manipulator. And then he gave me a new quest to go and get some fine sand and turn it into um, turn it into glass and make a glass mug so he can drink the, the coffee out of the mug. So I found some, clear, some uh, fine sand here. First of all, I'm going to finish this motherfucker off. Those who stand before me shall die! Now, fine sand... Lots of fine sand. We don't really need this much fine sand. Uh, back up to the ship. Going to turn this into glass. Make ourselves a glass. Make as many glass as we can. It's kind of unnecessary. Uh, and then you make the glass... Uh, what's it called? Glass coffee mug using the table. What's it called? The iron crafting table. Doesn't look like it's made out of iron. Whatever. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Wrong place. I kept forgetting where I was. Uh, so now, I'm going to go back to the outpost that I was previously talking about. And when we get there, I can show you that coffee maker, just in case you're not quite sure. Here we have Chiaki Dunbar uh, wearing his waistcoat. I thought it would be a little more Han Solo-y. <laughs> I would kind of like to find something I can put on his head that takes his hat off. At the same time, though, it kind of gives him a little charm, doesn't it? He's like this little fiery cowboy. He's cute. Okay. Now we're going to wait for my train to land on, for some reason, there's an atmosphere over top of this space station, but I'm not going to get into that. Also, I'm not going to get into the fact that you can light torches in uh, zero oxygen environments. <laughs> You're playing as a guy on fire, okay? Let's just give me a moment. Alright, so I'm gonna give this person the coffee in a mug. Mmm, coffee! Alright, now a new quest. Now this is totally new, I've never done this quest before. If you get some steel and Forge a stirring spoon for me. I will be able to... <laughs> the drink will be perfect. Craft it in the metal workstation. That's hilarious. I love you so much, Chucklefish Games, for making this game. It's hilarious. It's so fun. It's almost exactly the way that I would have made a game if I had any programming ability. Um, it's funny. It's a very funny game. It's got lots of humor. Okay, let's go find ourselves the materials for a metalwork station. Now, this is this two quest lines. That that one brings you in one direction for more optional stuff, while as the other quest line um what is the other quest line? 
Oh yeah, steel armor. So if I want to get the steel armor, it's going to move me on to the, to the next boss. Uh, if I continue with this, I'm going to get a tech piece, or a tech chip, which allows me to get one of these tech items over in your console. You can have bouncy. Uh, Mufasa tried that out, he doesn't like it very much. <laughs> you generate a ball of energy and then you just bounce around and it takes your energy um, per second. So he said that he was falling off a cliff and he tried to reserve some energy and turn it on as he was landing and he didn't do it in time and died. <laughs> uh, second, you get the energy dash and then you also have the pulse jump, which I think I'm going to get that one. And then over here is the suit section. This is stuff that this is stuff that you'll get as part of the quests and you'll have multiple options. Like right now, my other character, I have uh, O2 tank and then the other one is um, anti-radiation or something like that. Okay, I don't need this crafting table anymore, so I'm going to remove that. Move this over here, put this crafting table down. I don't know what I need to make that metalwork. Uh, metalwork station takes steel. And to make steel... Oops. We need... Oh, it's not available. I'm missing something. There's a step here. Oh, I need to make the alloy furnace. That's what it is. Alloy furnace. And I can make it. And I have glass blocks, so it's really good that I did grab that extra little bit of sand. Also, I can make the lantern stick, which I will get to eventually. Sorry, lantern on a stick, sorry. It's uh, It basically just generates a little bit of light. It's like it's small amount of light. It's certainly a difference. It's not like... It's not going to replace your flashlight or your torches, but... Okay, let's make this alloy furnace. Now, you can remove the original furnace. You do not need it. Now, and the only thing, and I, I said this last episode, the only thing you do want to keep is your iron anvil, even when you get the metal workstation, because for some reason, the iron anvil uh, is the only thing that can make you uh, some uh, copper pickaxes. Okay. Talked really quickly there. Just gonna, I just need to catch my breath there. Uh, steel bars. We're gonna make some steel bars. Um, how many did I need? I'm not sure. Twenty. Okay. So we're gonna need. Let me just make sure that I know what we take. Okay, we do need this. Okay, and we need iron. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go and adventure down to the planet to get me some iron. That's not the planet I was looking for. Now that I'm thinking about it, I can find iron in my home planet, and I've already dug down into the uh, down into the earth, so I can go and look for some stuff if I want. Those who oppose me shall die. Okay. Just thought I would reiterate that. I really don't like that. It keeps getting in my way. All right. Always close the door. Always close the door. Let's adventure in here. Go as deep as possible. It increases your chances, I think. <laughs> he knows so much about the game. Try not to kill the things that don't try to kill you. I mean, there's no actual good reason to not do that. It's just kind of like PSA. All right, let's just dig into this soft dirt. It's usually the easy. I find that it's the best thing to do is to mine in something that is easy to cut through. And mining sideways is not the worst thing, actually. It's actually a lot more fun, I find, because um, you don't have to consider jumping and how you're going to get yourself back out of there. And I've found some iron already. Love it. Now, what I have noticed. I put about 130 hours on this, so what I have noticed is when you find iron somewhere, you're going to find more iron nearby. That's just a rule. So you try to keep exploring as much of the area, uh, put some torches down to really see all the areas. And you can also use your matter manipulator to do this, because it lights up everything. It's not a very big distance. Actually, it is pretty big. That's, that's quite a distance to be able to see into the rock to survey it. I don't remember if that was available pre-update, but it's certainly nifty. 
And that is the timer for the episode. I'm going to end the episode here just to keep it short and sweet and keep people's attention. I know people have a pretty short attention span on the YouTube. So thank you so much for the people who have watched, for the people who have been here from the beginning, and anyone who commented. There will be another video. I am eventually getting to the boss. In fact, I might just go and make the boss episode right now uh, and kind of do it in the wrong order just to get... Some people might be at that part and they're like, Fuck! I hate this! Girth, help me! So I'll help you. So, please like, comment, subscribe. You can direct message us through Twitter or YouTube. Uh, if you comment... No, that's not how I want to say that sentence. Uh, please... The... <laughs> Okay, so none of this was planned, of course. I'm terrible at talking. I'm really bad at the sign-off. I'm great at the sign-in. I'd get that down pat. I actually did it so quickly this time, I wasn't sure if I actually did it. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name is Ball Girth from Ball Steve Gaming. <laughs> oh, thank you for watching.